Hello everybody. Our lesson for today is exponential function functions and we will learn how to analyze graph and describe the transformations of the exponential functions. So first of all let's have a look and remember the symbol to write function it is f of x. As long the function it is called exponential, x input it is written in place of the exponent. The standard form of the function is f of x equals a times b to x in which x is any real number, a, b are real numbers too, such that a does not equal to zero. If we will put in place of a zero, zero times whatever equals to zero, so it makes no sense, it will be a point. B, it is greater than zero and it is not equal to one. From here, we understand that B is greater than one or B, it's between zero, one. So from here, we'll get two different exponential functions. If B base, in the power, if b is greater than 1, there it will be an exponential growth. And if the b, the base in the power is between 0 and 1, there it will be an exponential decay. So I'm going to take it one by one in order and see what exactly we have to know about them. So first of all, exponential growth. So f of x equals b to x, we will take it when a equals to 1, yes? So exponential growth when b, it is greater than 1. To graph this function as any other function, we need points. And the most important points, they are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So I'm going to take it one by one. So let's see, x intercept 0 for y. So it will be 0 equals b to x. Uh, in real numbers that not exist, there does not exist a number such that a number, a value for x, such that b to x equals to 0. This means that the graph approaches the x-axis but does not intersect the x-axis so we can say that x-axis is the asymptote so the graph has an asymptote or we can write it asymptote it is y equals to zero to find the y-intercept For x, we will substitute 0, so it will be y equals b to 0, which means that y equals to 1. So the y-intercept, it's the point 0, 1. So if we have to sketch the graph of this function, we can do it in this way. So the y-intercept we said it is 1 and the graph will look like this. From the graph, if I will take two points on it, so let's say this point, point 1 and point 2. 
As we know, each point has x and y coordinates. So point 1 has x1, y1 coordinates, and point 2 has x2, y2 coordinates. As you can see from the graph, as x value increase, increases, x values increases, the y values, they increase too. So as we said, it's an exponential growth. x value increases, then y values, they will increase too. The domain of the function, it is real numbers. from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range of the function, it will be y greater than zero in inequality notation. And if we write it in interval notation, it will be zero positive infinity. So zero and greater than zero, but that's not equals to zero. The graph in the left side approaches to x-axis, but will never intersect the x-axis. The asymptote, it will be y equals to 0, which means the x-axis. And the end behavior of the function, limit f of x, when x approaches negative infinity equals. So as you can see, x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches to 0. And limit f of x when x approaches positive infinity, so the x values, they increase, then the y values, they increase too. The exponential decay, so f of x equals b to x, when b, the base and the power, it's between 0, 1. As we said, the function does not have an x-intercept. There, it will be asymptote. x-axis, or we can write y equals to 0. And the y-intercept, it is 1. So the point zero one. Then... To sketch the graph of the function, I will plot on y-axis the 1, and the graph will be like this. Take two points on the graph. So let's say this is point 1 coordinates x1, y1, and point 2, coordinates x2, y2. As x increases, the y decreases. So the function, it's a decrease. As we, can, as we said from the beginning, there it's an exponential decay when the base and the power is between 0 and 1. The domain of the function, it is represented by all the real numbers. So we can write real number or we can write interval notation negative infinity to positive infinity. The range of the function, the y values from 0 and more. So y greater than 0 in interval notation 0 positive infinity. The graph does not have an x-intercept and the y-intercept it is 0, 1 
the graph is continuous and the end behavior of the function limit f of x when x approaches negative infinity so x gets less and less and less the y values they increase so equals positive infinity and limit from the right side of the graph f of x when x approaches positive infinity equals as you can see the x values they get less and uh, greater then the y values they go closer to x axis which means equals to zero use the graph of f of x equals for 2x to describe the transformations we said that the standard form is f of x equals a times b to x remember that whatever change in x value the transformation is called horizontal and the change in y values the transformation it will be called vertical so f of x equals to 4, uh, 4 to exponent x this is the uh, pre-image and the image k of x equals 4 to x minus 2 so it was x no change in x but from outside the x for y we have a minus 2 from the operation given minus we recognize the transformation as being translation remember that also translation is called a slide or shift it's not done for x it's outside the x so this translation it is vertical two units down and negative 2 it will be the uh, the horizontal uh, the horizontal asymptote so if we have f of x equals in transformations a times b to x plus c from this form a represents the y intercept and c will represent the horizontal asymptote of the function. Let's try more. f of x equals 4 to x. Something here happened that became m of x equals negative 4 x plus 2. Remember that the negative in front of a number, this came from factor negative 1 times 4 x plus 2, where factor negative 1 represents reflection transformation. Here is negative 4y, so it's a reflection across the x-axis. Plus 2, it was x, and now became x plus 2, which means the transformation was done for x, and this is called a horizontal transformation. From the operation plus, we recognize it as translation and two units left don't get confused between plus minus 4x yes remember that if we take it separate x plus 2 equals to 0 and solve for x x equals to negative 2 and negative 2 it's left of the origin and not right of the uh, of it
let's try more. f of x equals p to x. p of x equals to bracket 4 to negative x. The operation between its a times 2, as we see here, its power and the a, it is equals to 1. We said f of x equals a times b to x. So the a in the pre-image, it is 1. In the image, we have a times 2. This transformation, it is called a vertical stretch factor 2. So if the factor it is greater than 1 there it's a stretch if it is between 0 and 1 it's a compress. It was x and now we have negative x and negative in front of the value it came from factor negative 1 where negative 1 represents the reflection transformation. And as long the negative it's for x this is a reflection across y-axis. Sketch and analyze the graph of each function, describe the domain, range, intercepts, asymptotes, and behavior, and where the function is increasing or decreasing. So I'm going to take the first one f of x equals 2 to negative x. Remember that the negative exponent, it came from 1 over b to x. So we can write then 2 to negative x, it's equals 1 over 2 all to x. In this case, the base, it is 1 over 2, which means the base, it's between 0 and 1. And this means that here we have to work with an exponential decay. The A, in this case, it is 1. So we said the A value represents the y-intercept. The y it's a decay. So the graph, it will look like this. So the y-intercept here, 1, and this is going to be the graph. Now, domain, it's the real numbers. The graph is continuous. The range, y greater than 0, because here is no x-intercept. Asymptote, it's the y equals to 0 or x-axis. And behavior, limit f of x. When x approaches negative infinity, so x values, they get less and less and less, then y values, they increase, so equals positive infinity. And limit f of x, when x approaches positive infinity, equals, so x values, they increases, then the y values, they decrease, and they approaches to zero, equals to zero. Question number two, r of x equals 5 to x. And as we know, f of x equals a times b to x. In this case, the a equals to 1. 
So the y-intercept, it is 0, 1. The base, it is 5, which means greater than 1. And here we have an exponential growth. So to graph the function, we will plot the y-intercept. which is 1, and the graph will be like this. The domain of the function, it's the real numbers. The range, 0 more, so 0 to positive infinity or we can write y greater than 0, asymptote, it's the x-axis, which means y equals to 0. The y-intercept, as we said, it is 1. And the end behavior, limit f of x, when x approaches negative infinity equals, so the x values, they get less and less, then the y value approaches to 0. And limit f of x, when x approaches positive infinity, it is equals positive infinity. Question 9, c of x equals 2 to x minus 3. So we said f of x equals a times b to x minus 3. So here we have transformation minus 3. Let's try to find the x-intercept. in which 0 for y, so it will be 0 equals 2 to x minus 3. So 2 to x equals to 3, and x equals log base 2 of 3, which equals approximately 1.58. So the x-intercept, it will be the point 1.58, 0 coordinates. The y-intercept, zero y. So we put zero for x, and the y, it will be equals to, to zero minus three. So one minus three equals to negative two. So the y-intercept, it will be, 0, negative 2. We said that the C value represents the horizontal asymptote. And in our case, the C, it is negative 3. So we have to keep this in our mind that we can sketch correct the graph of the function. So the, the horizontal asymptote, it will be y equals negative 3. And we can draw like this. 1, 2, negative 3. The x-intercept, it's 1.58. So 1, 2, let's say it's somewhere here. And the y-intercept is negative 2. We connect the points. And this is the graph of the function. From the graph, the domain its real numbers, 
the range, the y values from negative 3 and more, but not equals to negative 3, so greater than negative 3, but not equals negative 3. The asymptote, it is y equals negative 3. The graph is continuous, and this graph represents a growth. So this is growth, yes. And the end behavior limit f of x when x approaches negative infinity equals, so x gets less and less, the y values, they, approaches, they approach the negative 3. Limit f of x when x approaches positive infinity so the x values, they increase, the y value increases too. It will be equals positive infinity. Let's try more. Question 10. d of x equals 5 to negative x plus 2. We know that f of x equals a times b to x plus e. So that we can graph, we need points. And before this, we see that the exponent x is negative. So we can write it d of x equals 1 over 5 x plus 2. So this is going to be an exponential decay. The base, it's between the base b, it's between 0, 1. So here we have an exponential decay. Let's find the x-intercept. The y0, so we put 0 equals one over five to x plus two. But here is not x intercept because it will be negative. Yes, the y intercept 0, y, so 0 for x, it will be y equals 1 over 5 to 0 plus 2, so 1 plus 2 equals to 3. We can write the y intercept equals 0. And from the C value, the asymptote, it is Y equals to 2. So let's try to sketch the graph. We found it Y intercept 3. And the asymptote y equals 2, this is 2. Then the graph will look like this. Because it's a decay. Yes? Then we can write domain, real numbers. The range of the function, the y values, from 2 and more, but not equals to 2. The graph is continuous. As we said here, it's a decay. The end behavior of the function limit f of x when x approaches negative infinity. So the x values, they, go, they get less and less. 
the y values they increase equals positive infinity and limit f of x when x approaches positive infinity the x values they increase then the y value they approaches to zero uh, to two Use the graph of f of x to describe the transformations that results in the graph of g of x. So f of x equals 4 to x and g of x equals 4 to x minus 3. So it's no change in x, but we have a change in y values. Because this minus here, this is translation. So we can describe it as vertical translation. Three units down. Sketch the graph of f of x and g of x. So this is the coordinate plane. As we did before, we'll do it now. And I will take first the f of x. From here, the y-intercept, it is 1. The base is 4, which means it's greater than 1. And we have an exponential growth. And the asymptote, it is y equals to 0. So the graph will be like this. In g of x, negative 3 represents the asymptote y equals to negative 3. This is very important when we have to sketch or we have to graph. For us, it's only sketch. I, we are not going to use many points. And also, we have to find here the y-intercept. We need one point at least that will get the shape of the graph correct. So y intercept y equals 4 to 0 minus 3. It will be 1 minus 3 equals to negative 2. The base is 4, which means greater than 1. So this is an exponential growth. So y intercept negative 2. We can find the x intercept. So x-intercept, it will be 0 equals 4 to x minus 3. So 4 to x equals to 3. And x equals log base 4 of 3, which equals, let me just check what is this. So log base 4 of 3, which equals 0 0.79. So if this is 1, somewhere here it will be. So let's see. Yeah. This it will be the graph. f of x equals 1 over 2 to x and g of x equals 1 over 2 x plus 4. The base is 1 over 2, so it's between 0 and 1, which means that this is an exponential decay. is now changing y values. It's very easy to observe. It was x in the pre-image and now became an x plus 4. And this transformation is a horizontal translation. Four units left. And 
and question 13 f of x equals 3 to x and g of x equals negative 2 it came from negative 1 times 2 times 3 to x so we have two factors for y negative 1 factor represents reflection across the x-axis 2 is greater than 1 so this is a vertical stretch factor 2 and there's no change in x x it was x and still x thank you